Hey folks, Greg Koch here. Another installment for Guitar World Magazine. We're doing the finale, if you will, uh, to a tune of mine called 265 from a record I did years ago called Strat's Got Your Tongue. And it's a shuffle tune. It has some cool chordal elements that can be used either as melodic content or for comping. Uh, I'm going to play it in time for you first, and then we will break it down. So the tune kind of restates... Um, the main melody on the A chord, which is... Then it goes, it does that twice, goes to G, and kind of restates what we did in G. Does that twice, and then it goes to this part, which I'm gonna show you right now. It's an E, and it goes like this. Okay. So the first part of it is kind of doing what we did on the A chord and on the G chord where we're harmonizing uh, a mixolydian scale, this time an E. Uh, so it's this. Those three chords right there are from um, E mixolydian that I'm harmonizing with triad. So we got C sharp minor chord, a B minor chord, and an A chord. The whole time the E is vamping. Um, and that's just kind of a fun thing to use for improvising. Or for comping. So if I'm doing like a, you know. Okay. The next part that I'm doing is I'm taking a um, an E7 chord, and this these this cluster of chords, if you will. I don't know if cluster is the best word, but these grouping of chords, um, they're all done in the A string, D string, and G string. Again, the E is the root and is vamping or pedaling. So this is a little E7 triad, down to an E flat triad, to a D triad. And again, that's just fun to use if you're, you're messing around with it. Now the next one is um, kind of a shell voicing descending pattern. It's all on the E string, low E string, D string, and G string. And I guess I would call this an E over G sharp. Okay. And I'm doing my thumb on the E string, uh, first finger on the D string, third finger of my right hand on the G string. And then I'm bringing those fingers down a half step to make it like a G diminished. Now for this one, that one's more of like a D, a D chord over an F sharp. But sometimes I will, I'll throw in that D sharp in every now and then. Or either one will work. And again, that's something that I use all the time, you know. In a blues, it's great to use that going to the five chord, uh, because when you put that D sharp in there, it's like a it's like a B seven chord with an F sharp in the bass. So if I'm doing a blues uh, blues in E, and I'll go to the five chord. Or I can use it to ascending wise. Leave the D sharp out and go E seven. That D over F sharp, G diminished, G sharp over, or E over G sharp, to go A chord. Or just use it to the, for our stuff vamping on E. I put all those three elements together. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The last element, if you will, to my song 265 from a record of mine called Strat's Got Your Tongue. Fun little shuffle tune incorporating some cool harmonizations that you can use either for comping, playing the song as is, or doing whatever you like to do in the privacy of your own home or in the glory of the rock stage. 
wherever those might be. All right, folks, Greg Koch here for Guitar World Magazine. We'll see you cats in the flippity-flop.